Hey there, everybody. Jay Barino here, continuing Biotech. It's a custom campaign for StarCraft II, back from the Wings of Liberty days, but it has since been updated here in the last year. Created by Njordis, we're on to Mission 5. Oh, it's a turtle. Let's get started. Ball C? Bal C? One of our science vessels has, has crashed on the planet Bal C. The vessel carried encrypted data disks out of our newest scientific achievements. We must have those data disks back, or we'll lose months of research. While the ship was torn asunder, the data disks were designed to withhold great damage and should be intact. We've located the position of the crash and we'll send Agent Hamilton to retrieve the disks. While there's no sentient enemies here on Bal C, the wild beasts on this planet are extremely vicious. Keep your weapon loaded and be on your guard. Use the Scare Beast ability when overwhelmed. Alright. Okay, we got another wacky camera, I can already tell. We've detected a signal from one of the data disks. I'll connect it to it. I'll connect its position on your map. I can't move the mini map. I can't do anything. I'm locked in, similar to the the first mission. Hamilton will revive after 15 seconds when hit by fatal damage. When he's below a quarter life, he gets life per kill and 20 energy per hit. That's pretty sick. You could select bird view camera to set a static camera above Hamilton. You could toggle the camera between first person and a bird's view perspective. Okay. Well, what? Are we, is this the is this considered the first person perspective? It looks like it's the camera is always moving to try to get behind us. Okay, well we can handle the rams just fine. Curious. Oh, okay. So if we turn around, the camera's going to go all sorts of crazy. It looks like the camera is locked at moving at a set speed such that it's never whipping around like crazy. So I guess I'll keep this the way it is for now. I just want to see what the what the alternative is. This feels a little more tolerable. Feels again, this feels like mission 1. I don't know. Let's I feel like the mission was made to try to show off this type of camera, but I just don't I don't think it's a great idea to have it try and constantly be behind you. I don't know. Penetrator round, 15 second cooldown, tons of damage. Stim pack is fine. Cooldown based heal. Scare beast, set off fireworks to scare beasts. Okay. Blast him. You love to see it. <laughs> Enormous death animation for such a small creature. You almost feel bad. I think maybe part of the challenge here. Oh, this is this is what I mean. We, if you try and kite. If you try and kite anything. <laughs> Excuse me. If you try and kite anything, it's going to make the camera go insane. So I guess let's play it without kiting. Let's just give it a go. We still got our scare beast. It looks like we can kill these things before they even get to us. So that's no problem. We're not very close to the first disc. Ooh, I don't I don't know. I uh, I don't know about this one. Yo, we just slaughtered an entire herd of beasts. This is honestly this honestly just makes me feel a little bad, to be honest. I tried Stim Pack. These enemies certainly do a lot of damage. Toss up our heal. We're still Stim Pack, so I guess let's continue. I, th I think we have a very passive health regen. We do. Okay, cool. It's a very pretty map. And again, it seems like it was made with the idea of this camera thing in mind. We got Chimera, it looks like. That disappeared into thin air. <laughs> no death animation for those. Not even like a little blood splatter. I see one flying around right here. I see the... the, the flyer helper on the ground. Big whiff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Scare beasts? Yeah, that's right. You better run. I feel like there are going to be some viewers that get motion sick watching this. But again, I I think that the map was made with this this specific camera angle in mind, so I'm going to stick with it even though the other one seems to be a little more stable. Lights out. Killing wolves again feels bad, man. Looks like over here is what we're looking for. The fireworks seems quite nice and helpful. Dude, turtle. You're gonna make me kill the turtle? 
right between the That's just monstrous, man. The turtles should be neutral. They're minding their own business. What do turtles have to... They're not, they're not carnivorous. They don't need to attack us. Granted, so are like the... The goats. I found the first data disc. I'll upload it in a second. Data received. Position of the second data disc detected. Can we walk in the water? It looks like yes. All right. Let's see if we can figure out how to... It looks like on the mini-map we're going to want to follow this little set of islands through this mountain area. Go up and around. I don't see any other way to get over there. Unless we can walk through the water. Dude, it feels raw. It, they're, they're labeled as vicious beasts. They're just really slow turtles. Honestly, feels awful. But I guess we need our data, so... We could have just gone around these. Looks like there's a drop off here, or there's a either an invisible wall, or like the water actually gets deep enough that we can't. You know what, turtle? You get to live. You get to live. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. So similar to the first mission, this one feels like a like a proof of concept almost for an idea specifically around how this camera works. Ooh. Specifically for how this camera works, I don't think that this one is nearly as successful as the first one. I mean, the first one was just... Can we squeeze through here? I'm just gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just right-clicked on the mini-map to see if my dude could figure out which way to go. And he did. So, again, it's a very pretty, very well-detailed map. It actually feels like we're going through a mountain pass right now. I think that's cool. Oh, that one was kind of hidden. They're camouflaged. Oop, here we go. Whipping around. Heal me? I think that there was clearly some thought put into this, though, in the sense that the camera can only move at a set speed. That's one thing I'm definitely noticing, because imagine if you tried this and the camera could just immediately try and fix itself to behind your character, it would be nauseating. Like, it's possible that this is nauseating for some folks, because I'm going to be honest, I, I don't get motion sick easy, but I could see how this could possibly make people feel a little, a little queasy. I'm going to, you know, let's stim. Dude, it kind of looks like they're just running by us. Oh, no, there they go. Okay, now they're attacking us. How many are there? There's an arrow telling us to go this way. I feel like I should go the other way. Well, this is... Okay, this is saying go to the beacon. I imagine going the other way leads us to where the inevitable third one is going to be. So this is fine. Having a little indicator there. Usually, I'm inclined to go the opposite way of the main quest. So that I can kind of see... Dude, upgrade? Attack speed increase. That's great. So that I can kind of see... If there are any pickups, but now I can see on the map where there are pickups, so this is fine. Let's actually just go to the... Well, it's not that way. Is it that way? Right-click the second data disk, and let's see which way our guy takes. The music is definitely Warcraft. I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure. Oh, attack to destroy it. Go for it. Stim? Can I get behind it? Yeah, yeah, I prefer this. That way, as enemies come in towards us, yeah, watch out for ambushes. We've seen this before. Dude, the turtles are coming in with the ambush. I I feel terrible, but it must be done. Let's just stay stimmed. Looks like we got some flyers coming in, too. Dude, there's like a huge march of turtles happening here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just stim one more time to get this, get these dudes. It's it's just so wrong. I found the second data disc. The data is yours. Data received. Position of third data disc found, detected, what have you. And of course, it's way down there. So let's see if we can figure out how to get down there. What if I just right clicked it? Which way would my do? Oh my god. Um. Right between the eyes. Oh. 
That was a, a frighteningly large death animation. For just for the sake, I, I I can't I can't do like a stutter step micro or anything like that. That's just gonna make this. That's gonna make the camera. I don't want to say it whips around because again, like I said, clearly there was some effort put into making sure the camera doesn't whip around per se. Um, but it still moves around quite a bit if you try and constantly turn back to turn your character back and forth like this. It just gets a little, little janky. All right, here's our alternate path from earlier. It looks like this map will be a little shorter. So was the first one, and so was Mission 4, and that's okay. We've had some... Missions 2 and 3 were quite long, so it's nice to have some shorter ones here or there. I don't mind. This camera angle also does not give us a good field of view to see if there are potential enemies right in front of us. That's a bear. I'm, You know, I'm happy to avoid the wildlife. Well, okay, that one we have to kill, but... Let's see what this is. New... <coughs> excuse me, Nova equipment. Attack damage increase. That's fine. Oh! Lights out. Scare him? There we go. Yeah, rather than turning around and kiting, we should just use the scare beasts thing. I think that's the key. And if our health gets low enough... Dude, are those eagles? If our health gets low enough, we can just we'll we'll regen health by killing stuff. And energy as well. I'm glad there's a bunch more of those things down there, because we killed so many of them earlier that. I think those are actual eagles. They look like eagles. This is illegal. Ha! <laughs> illegal, am I right? Hilarious. Okay. Oh, here we go. Camera, here we go. This is, looks like the third one? There's a giant... Oh my god, I could see it hovering above, but I can't quite see it. I guess quick save, because I my health is not full. Sorry in advance? I don't think I hit it, but I'm not so sure. Located the third disc? I'll stream the data now. Data received, position of final disc detected. I guess let's keep going up this way? Say goodnight, ugly. Dude, shoot it! Right between the eyes. <laughs> Seems like none of the flying animals have uh, death animation. Sorry about the camera, we're zip zooming around backwards now. Dude, this one's like out in the middle of no man's land in an island somewhere. I just right clicked it on the mini map, my dude will figure it out. He'll figure it out. Sometimes they can't, to be fair, depending on how a map is terrained. Occasionally, your units are unable to actually smartly figure out which direction they need to go to get somewhere. Dude, this is so messed up. Again, they're called vicious beasts, but they're just... They're just... Animals defending their territory. Wait, there's something way back here. Do you all see this? I'm gonna go this way. To see if I can pick up whatever this is. Maybe it's like a health increase at this point. We got attack speed and attack damage. I'd like something else. Dude looks fancy. Movement speed increase. Okay, that's that's actually quite nice. Does that also inc increase how fast the camera moves? It looks like no, thankfully. The camera moving at this speed is acceptable and should not be changed. <laughs> I gotta say, it's weird for me to play a map like this. I mean, I played through almost every available StarCraft II custom campaign that exists. There's still a few out there I gotta... Oh gosh, here we go. There's still a couple that I still gotta check out, like... Enslaver's Redux. Oh my god! Dude, that one is furious! I thought it was just like the normal one that died in two hits. Thankfully, we got a second chance here. I gotta play Enslaver's Redux. Oh, he automatically uses the, uh, the fireworks. Dude, that one was scary as heck. Oh. Once again, we slaughtered just an entire herd of this. Of whatever the heck these things are. I, I hate to do this and have to kite them, but... I, I can't 
see anything. Yeah, I wanted to go back up here. Then blast them. Sorry, sorry, buddies. I looked down earlier, I'm like, I'm glad there's more of these dudes. But yeah, anyway, I never played Enslaver's Redux, because to be honest, it's riddled with so many bugs. Like, even more than normal Mass Recall at this point, that I just... I never really got around to playing it. Also, it is full, chock full of dialogue. There's so much lore-related stuff that I just don't know. I just couldn't bring myself to ever do it, but that's got to be one of the things on the list because I never played it before. Sorry, turtles. You don't deserve it, but the, the game demands it. Uh, we'll just pretend like if we were, like, way closer zoomed in, they're, like, horrifying creatures with, like... They're gnashing their teeth as they're running at you, trying to tear you apart. They, they killed your wife. They killed Hamilton's wife. All the turtles worked together to ambush and kill his wife and entire extended family. Let's say that. Yeah, take that, turtle. That's what you get. Vengeance. We're the... You're the... John Wick villain turtles. That's, that's how this... That's what this is. It's justified. Anyway, what other campaigns in StarCraft II have I not played? There's some on the arcade, but none of them are done. There's a couple race swap campaigns that I haven't played that Synergy has made um, that we'll get to for sure. So Enslaver's Redux, and then whichever of the race swap campaigns I haven't played. But And then there's, again, unfinished stuff on the arcade that I definitely need to get to. Other than that, there's no campaigns that were made, you know, a while ago that I never played, I'm pretty sure. Like, there's no backlog of... Oh my gosh. This is just a slap in the face, right making me have to kill this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so much damage. There we go, we got him. But I don't think there's any, like, random campaigns that I never played that, it, that were made years ago that I never got around to. I'm pretty sure, if it was on SC2 Mapster at least, watch out for ambushes. If it was on SC2 Mapster, I had played it. Oh, here they come. Once again, it's Turtles and... Oh, and, and Chimera. Dude, why are bears in the water? What's happening? Uh-oh. Not that way. Huh. <laughs> Uh oh. Got a. Oh, we got big boys. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta keep scaring them. It's the only way. Kill it. There's so many. <laughs> this seems to be a common theme of this campaign from mission two and now this one. Oh, look out for ambushes that get absurd near the end. Apparently these wild beasts are in love with the data disc and will do anything to protect us, to protect it from us, even more than their own youth. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad that there's no permanent loss condition. Like I said, this feels like an experimental type map. If this was updated, supposedly, in the last year, I would have liked to see maybe more changes done to, you know, make stuff like this a little more modern or feel a little more modern. Unfortunately, I have to do stop move here, so the camera's going to be a little wonky. That's okay. Oh, just, just get it. Just get it. I found the last data disk uploading the data as we speak. Data received, a drop dropship has been dispatched to your transport. For your transport. Don't die now. Don't die. Don't die off camera. Well, he went down right at the end. That's fine. It's fitting for that map. We'll go to Theranos next time. Again, some of these maps are short. I really liked Mission 1, and I actually quite like Mission 4. They were short. This mission was short. 
Didn't really care for it that much. Felt like it was more of just a proof of concept for the different type of camera. I don't think we experienced that again. I will say what Biotech always did or what Nerdies always did in the past was kind of push the boundary of things just to sort of try stuff. And I do appreciate that. Though, this was one where I don't think it really worked very well. I think that the death animations for the flyers needs fixed. And I, I don't know. I, I, think, I think the holdout section, obviously, there at the end was a little silly, but... It is what it is. Again, this was supposedly updated recently, so I would encourage maybe a re a, a recheck. You know, if you're if you're revisiting old stuff, I am such a big sucker for replaying campaigns if they've been updated, which is why we're back here. But I would hope that stuff like that would maybe be um, again updated to feel a little more polished, considering this is the second run of changes made to this campaign, I believe. Okay, we'll play Theranos next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.